hey everyone welcome back to the channel today i will show you how to add drop tell menu on figma so first create a frame where you want the drop tell menu to appear then add a rectangle or other shape to serve at the body frame for the drop down menu you can do this by selecting rectangle shape tool from the toolbar Second, you can also add color fill and stroke to your drop downs body using the sections under the design tab. Third, now we need to add small triangle that will serve at the drop down button. To do this, simply select the polygon shape tool from the toolbar, then click it and drag it across your canvas to create a small triangle and place it inside the drop down. Fourth, adjust the angle of the triangle using the angle section under the design tab for accurate alignment. Fifth, once done, create a copy of the whole frame and place it just beside the original frame. You can do this using the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. Sixth, you need to rotate the triangle on the second frame by 180 degrees to make it look like it rotates once triggered. So, in this case, we will set the angle to 0 degrees. Seven, next, create the actual drop down menu in the second frame. To do this, Create copies of the main rectangle body and place them below the bottom. Make sure to leave some space between each menu item so that users can see that they are clickable. 8. Change the fill color and disable the stroke of the drop down menu to create a more distinct features. 9. Now, Add text to your drop down menu using the text tool from the top toolbar. This will serve as the option to choose from once the drop down menu is triggered. Then, once done, we can now start making prototype of our design. To do this, just click on the prototype tab and hover over the small triangle on frame one until a plus icon appears this will serve at the first point of connection 11. now click on the plus icon and connect it to frame 2. this will make the drop down menu in frame 2 appear when the triangle button in frame 1 is triggered 12. The next step is to add some interactions to your drop down menu. To do this, in the inter interaction details window that will show up, you'll see a list of events that can trigger an action. From here, you can add on click interaction that will show the drop down menu when the user clicks on the button. 13th. Now we go over to the next action we want to happen after using after opening the drop down menu. In this case, we want to close the drop down menu and go back to its original state. To do this, connect the triangle on frame 2 to frame 1. 14. Then select the on click event in the interaction details window. 15. Finally, click on the play button in the upper right corner to see a previewed prototype of your drop down menu. 16. The last. And that's all there is to it. With just a few clicks, you can add a fully functioning drop down menu to your Figma design. I hope this video helped you guys. For more videos, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. 
See you again.